Hey guys, getting excited to uh, start the clinical rotation with you. I want to go over a few things real quick, try to make this as short and brief as possible just to save some time uh, during clinicals and during the clinical day since we only have you for four days. You should be getting this packet soon. If not, it is available to you on the uh, clinical website information on Canvas. So feel free to look it up and make sure that you print it off, look at it, bring it. Uh, that way we don't have to make copies for you later on. The very first part of this is a pretty common sense letter. It talks about bringing all of your equipment, being on time, um, you know, wearing your badge, being appropriate, being respectful, maintaining HIPAA. These are things that should be common sense by now. So hopefully, you know, look, for, look through it, but hopefully nobody has any questions over this. And if you do, please reach out to us, quickly answer them, you know, as fast as we can. Switching over, all of the inpatient units will have uh, paperwork that looks like this. This is where you start, and this is going to be the, uh, the body of your paperwork. Medical history, you're going to have to look this up in the computer. Everybody will get access. You'll be able to get into Meditech and look up information. Uh, this is what brought the patient in. So you need to look this up, fill it out, uh, define it. You know, find some information about it. Okay, this will help you create your nursing diagnosis in a little bit. Okay. History and physical. Now, just look through the H&P. This is some really good information. Not only is it a lot of objective, you know, from assessment, from the original assessment, but also subjective from the patient. So find this, write it down. This will help you as well. Okay. Pertinent labs, medications. Okay. These are things that you should start to tie together. You should be able to see how these affect your patient care and your nursing diagnosis. So start writing the pertinent information down. You'll start to see the connections. Moving down, assessment. This is your review of systems. That's what ROS stands for. A uh, place for you to practice charting. So if you have abnormal stuff, you know, abnormal lung sounds, abnormal heart sounds, you know, write that kind of thing down. This is good for you to practice because you're going to end up charting eventually, so you might as well start now, right? Uh, last one is subjective assessment. This is what the patient tells you. And this is good information to include because you're going to have to report that in your charting anyway. Right. Nursing diagnoses. This is your pie notes. There's three of them. Make sure you do the priorities accordingly. ABCs, airway, breathing, circulation, right? This is really important stuff because this is how you're going to plan your care and your holistic care for the rest of the day. So please, 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 please fill this out. Okay, this is very important for you. All right, then you have another copy. Another copy. This is all paperwork that you're going to be filling out during the day you're at Wesley Woodlawn. All right. Medication sheets for your patient. I expect any medication that you give to be written up on here. Okay, it's important to know what you're giving, side effects, be able to teach about it to your patient, okay? You need to provide the education. And I really am trying to speed through this just so you can have some time to study for nursing school <laughs> and not watch me on YouTube. Um, this is the OR experience paperwork. It is very self-explanatory. Answer the questions, go through it. This will help you in, in post-conference um, be able to talk about your day, that kind of thing. All right, alternative clinical experience. Any unit that is not inpatient, so that means a unit that doesn't um, is not surgery and doesn't have patients staying the night. This is where you'll be uh, filling out your paperwork for the day on this. Place for you to take nurses' notes if you wish. A reminder of SBAR. This is a good format to use for communication. Not only does it help you, but it also helps the listener because they'll be expecting information um, in this order. Situation, background, assessment, recommendations. Documentation of physical assessment. This is something to help you document your assessment. You will be assessing your patient. You don't have to do all of them, you know, or at least report back or write up, but just one uh, patient. Please fill out the assessment on them, especially when you're in the inpatient units. All right, another place for notes or to plan the, the care for the day. So feel free to fill that out if you'd like. Okay. Going to the next page, it's kind of out of order, um, but this is labs. This is stuff you're going to be filling out on your patients. Okay, so you're, the write-up that you do, you need to look that up, find the uh, thing, 
Is it getting better? Is it getting worse? That's why we want the trends. Also, nursing implications, okay? Right over here on this side. Look at this. What does this mean for you? How does it affect your plan of care? All right. Another copy of... And then the last page of this, uh, different, just another way for you to take notes and uh, help keep yourself organized. All right, as always, if you have a shout to us, uh, we'll quickly get an answer back to you via email or our phone numbers are actually listed on the, uh, the front sheet there. So if you text us, please uh, let us know who we're talking to. So don't just